Manjaro, what I eat in a day after 58 pound and counting a Manjaro weight loss. Here's what I eat in a day. I'm actually on day five of my Manjaro injection, so I definitely have way more of an appetite, but not quite as full of an appetite as I normally do, um, just to give some context with my Manjaro injection. So I'm having an Americano, which is literally a shot of an espresso with my Nespresso maker, and hot water. It is amazing. Let's get this day started off with some caffeine. Make sure you stay till the end to see my incredible Manjaro dinner. You do not want to miss it. It's so easy to make. It makes you look like an amazing chef. I went to a local farmer's market and picked up all of my veggies and produce that are fresh for today for my meals that I'm making. I'm really excited to use less local fresh produce. Now they had a local yogurt. I guess it's not local because it's um, it, it's like high-end Icelandic yogurt. So I guess that's not in rural Virginia, but it's the most delicious thick yogurt. It's thicker than Greek yogurt. And two nectarines that were local, I'm going to split this with my little boy, my eight-year-old, and then some chia seeds. My focus for my Manjaro meals is protein. Protein and fresh fruits and vegetables, literally that has been my game-changing thing with my 58 pounds down so far in about 29, 30 weeks. So look how thick that yogurt is. I mean, it's like a cheesecake on there. Y'all, when I say it, my mouth was watering making this, my mouth was watering. So I was not crazy hungry, but I wanted to get a little something, something in um, for the day. And those nectarines were perfection. Like, do they not? I mean, they were literally grown a couple miles down the street from my house. Look how thick that yogurt is. It looks like ice cream. So if you need to get protein in, try Icelandic uh, yogurt. And I got plain. It had no sweetener in there. I was intentional not to add any sweetener in there, but I did add my chia seeds for some extra protein and also for some extra texture. I'm a texture girl. Maybe you're a texture girl or guy too, but uh, that texture was really important for me. And then also just to creep in some of that extra protein in there as well. Um, and it's so good. To me, it tastes like a dessert, which I think is one of the reasons why I love a Greek yogurt or now an Icelandic yogurt and nectarines and chia seeds, but no sweetener was added. Like the fruit was the sweetener. So this to me was a decadent treat. And I was so full after eating it. Like I said, I split it with my little boy. I was full. Now I need to get his breakfast all set up and get him going for the day and get his food in. So he ate his, he gobbled his down. He was a happy clam. Um, and then I went over and I wanted to go snack for him, his Haya, um, they're the kids daily multivitamin. Uh, I am obsessed with these. I had been looking for multivitamins for my kid that did not have a ton of sugar in there. You know, most kids' vitamins have two teaspoons of sugar, unhealthy chemicals, and other gummy junk that gets caught in kids' teeth. And so I have been on a quest and I found Haya Health and I'm obsessed with them, as is my eight-year-old. My, my eight-year-old's like, mom, these are so good, but I'm so happy that he loves them. Um, but it doesn't have all this junk that comes in with them to give that full body nourishment. Did you actually know that 93% of kids don't eat enough fruits and vegetables? I guess the same could be said for adults as well, but um, HayaHealth.com forward slash queen to get a 50% off your first month. I absolutely love that they give you a glass bottle uh, for your first month. And then after that, they're really smart to get these non-plastic refill pouches. So it helps full for the environment too. My kid wanted to decorate his glass bottle from Haya as well with his multivitamin, but it's got all these great minerals and vitamins in there that make my mom's heart so incredibly happy. Check that out down in the description link below to go ahead and get your order in. Okay. I ended up having 40 ounces of water with my Stanley. If you know, you know. Um, and I also put my electrolytes in there. Then I had, because I had already gone to our local farmer's market, had gotten some fresh produce, and this is my taco salad I'm making. But it's not just any taco salad. First, I am cleaning off all the vegetables. I'm literally putting them in baking soda and with vinegar to help get the gunk off the top of vegetables. And I do this for my fruits too. Literally, I don't even measure out like how much baking soda, how much vinegar. I don't know. I just eyeball it and it makes like, I don't know. And I leave it in there for about 10 or 15 minutes. And the stuff that comes off after doing this makes me so happy. I'm like, yes. So this is local lettuce. Literally they had picked it that morning or however, cut it, picked it from a local farm, a couple miles down the street from my house. I got this lettuce cleaner thing or spinner. I'll link it down in the description link below, um, along with the Haya Health of Kids Vitamins too. But literally, I'm just washing off my lettuce. Y'all, I am so excited because it's so fresh. Do you ever get really excited about meals where you know it's just going to be good? That's how this taco salad is. So I'm cleaning off all the stuff. That is literally my vinegar baking soda 
mixture together, letting it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. And I do that several times with different produce. I'm parceling out my different meals. I have these great salad bowls that I love. And then one is going to be a meal prep one. But here's my little salad spinner. You just kind of spin it around like that. You see how the water comes off? Wait till you see what comes off of that lettuce. Didn't it look clean? Like I thoroughly had rinsed it for my Manjaro meal. Um, I felt like I had thoroughly, you know, cleaned it. Wait till you see all the stuff that comes out. Now, one of the reasons why with my Manjaro injection is I get so full so quickly and my eyes are bigger than my actual stomach is. So I'm parceling these. That's what came off, by the way. Is that not disgusting? Like, I'm so grateful I did that salad spinner. Get you one. It's down in the description link below. Oh my goodness. I was so grossed out with what I thought I had rinsed it really well too. Like, that's the crazy thing. I'm like, I rinsed it well. So I'm making my time taco meat, had some ground beef, just thawing that out to go ahead and um, make the taco part. I did add in organic black beans, a can of organic pinto beans, and then I'm going to add in a can of tomatoes in there. And that helps to stretch the protein, but also keep me full. And then I will freeze this later. So whatever we don't eat tonight and whatever I don't eat for tomorrow's Manjaro lunch, I will freeze this for another Manjaro dinner it's really, really simple. It could not be easier to make this and then just freeze it for later. So I'm cooking up two pounds of ground beef. And then I'm just using some taco seasoning. I think I got that at Costco. Um, and just mixing that all together. And my little boy was helping me too. My eight-year-old was bouncing in. There was our organic diced tomatoes. I had already like washed them out or whatever. And in hindsight, I probably should have had smaller, like more finely chopped tomatoes, but whatever, who cares? It's all going to get mixed together anyways. But I put the beans in there for some extra protein, but also to stretch the meat, but also it makes me really, really full. Um, and with an eight-year-old and my amazing, the count as well, uh, who's a strong, strapping six foot four gentleman, um, it helps to stretch the meals a little bit longer. So here was my salad. That is what you can use if you travel, the blue one. That is also linked down in the description link below. And it has the salad separated from the accoutrement and the dressing, which I love that they're separated. Um, and then I just have our regular bowls that I'm going to make for our dinner. I used pineapple salsa. That is my secret for the dressing. Um, you don't need high sugar things. Literally, there's not that much sugar in that pineapple salsa. It tastes so good. And then this is all of the local fresh produce I had. I'm just cutting it up using my meal prep board um, as well. And then this is where I'm going to divide it out if you go to work or if you just want one for the next day. It's really easy to divide these out. Um, I wouldn't have the meat longer than like we usually do ours for dinner and then the next day lunch. And then I call it quits because I'll freeze the rest of the stuff. I ended up getting pickled onions. Have you guys had these? Tell me in the comments below. I absolutely want to know. And by the way, if you've made it to this part in the video, put the emoji onion in the comments. Uh, if you know, you know, it's a long time countess of shopping tradition to put emojis. That's how I know that you've made it this far in the video. And so today's emoji is going to be an onion. But I'm packing up all the veggies in there. This really didn't take very long at all. I feel like I, I was jamming I was jamming out to music <laughs> while I was doing this. Um, I ended up shredding some cheese. I love uh, the Irish cheddar cheese. Um, it's so good. It's so it, like the texture and the taste. It's so delicious. And so I'm just parceling this out for my family. And I always put down that pineapple salsa first. So I'll put lettuce, pineapple salsa, then usually the meat, and then the vegetables, and then the cheese on top. And sometimes I'll add sour cream. I didn't this go around. I don't know why I didn't. I think. I don't know why. I think I forgot, but you totally could add guacamole or avocado or sour cream. Like it's the easiest meal. It can be very inexpensive. Um, you don't have to make it pricey, but it's also so filling for uh, my Manjaro injection days. I know I'm getting my nutrients. I know I'm getting my protein. I know I'm getting in all the good stuff that I want to be getting in. And on my health and wellness journey, having that protein and those nourishing um, foods is really, really important to me and something that I definitely you know, want to make sure I'm taking care of my body. Now, at this point, I am so full. I am so full. And um, I decided, oh, I am so full, but I forgot I added on those clovers. Are they not the cutest? I got them from the farm down the street from my house. Um, so shop, shop local if you're able to uh, for your produce and for your proteins. 
But we decided to go to a shark museum after this. It was so fun to go see the sharks. Uh, Dan, I had so much fun watching them. That guy was my homie there. Um, but I absolutely loved being able to do that. And then I came home and I had another 40 ounce water. Um, I didn't have extra electrolytes. It was just water this time. And I had a decaf coffee because I'm foot loose and fancy free. I'm doing my measurements um, with my smart scale. If you don't have a smart scale or smart tape measure, check those out in the description link below. And also make sure you check out the Haya Health vitamins for your kids or grandkids. They're absolutely a must have in my humble opinion. Mr. Spready says, yes, queen or king, get those vitamins. Uh, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. And I'm grateful for Haya. Thanks so much.